of God may, through learning adaption, become a partner of God. A victim of God may, through forethought and planning, become a shaper of God. Or, a victim of God may, through short-sightedness and fear, remain God's victim, God's plaything, God's prey. Earthseed, the books of the living. Hello, Zahara. How are you today? I'm fine. I tell you. Oh, alrighty. So, um, how did you feel about Earthsea when Lauren first told you about it? Well, I didn't believe it at first. I thought it was like a bunch of like bull crap. But then the ideologies in it just made me start thinking. Like one verse says, "All that you touch, you change." All that you change changes you. The only lasting truth is change. God is change. And it made me think like God is change. Right. Especially in this world today. You weren't especially. you weren't convinced at first, right? No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. It took like a long time to like really think about it. Well that long journey might have had an effect on that also. Um, well, you are a Mrs. Mrs. Oh Moi. My God. Um, tell us about your husband and how you guys got together. <sighs> His name was Richard Richard Moss, mm -hmm. and I met him when I was 14 years old. My uh, mom, she sold me to him because she was on drugs, whatever. What, what drugs was she using? Um, I'm not really sure, but she could have been like a um, pyro head, whatever. Right. And um, he bought me from her for, for like, um, I think $20. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure. I was young and was a paying attention, whatever. But... He um he bought me from her and he um took me to live with him and his two other wives so I became the third wife the co another co wife whatever and um that didn't go so well. <laughs> well um something good did come out of that you guys had a daughter named BB um how were you able to up and go after being raped and watching your daughter BB be brutally murdered? Um it was it was hard but. With the help of um, Harry, he's a he was one of our neighbors. I got through it. He rescued you when you were being attacked, right? Yes. Um, during the attack, my um, daughter was um, taken from my arms and she was um, brutally um, killed. They um, they threw her in a fire, or whatever. Mhm. Mm and um, I had to watch that while being raped. So yeah, it was hard to get through, but mm -hmm. I'm not okay, but. Um, You're better. Yeah, I'm getting better. Yeah, Earthsea probably has a very big effect yes, on it. Yes, it did. Exactly. Yes. Well, um, how are you doing today? Um, today, me and Harry, we have a relationship. We, we Harry get married. Harry is white, right? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Alrighty. Yeah. <laughs> well, alrighty, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Drowning people sometimes die fighting their rescuers. Thirsty, the books of the living. Why don't, you, why don't you tell us about Earthsea? Um, Earthsea is something I developed when I was younger. It's, it's basically how um, God is changed, but it's, it's not that I don't believe in God. It's the form of God, not God being this magical that being that can make you feel better. How did the Earthy community develop? Um, I was telling Zahar and Harry about what I thought and everything I had written down in my book about Earthseed, about how God has changed, and it kind of developed after that. We met up with Allie and Jill and Harry introduced us as the Earthseed community, and it kind of just kept 
birthing after that? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, death is something that you witnessed a lot of in your lifetime. Who is Keith and what happened to him? Um, Keith is my brother. He, he ran away from home and started living with these guys who didn't really know how to read or write. And he, he pretty much was like their interpreter. Mm-hmm. And he, they were paying him, right? Yes, they were paying him for helping them out. And he used to bring us money, and he used to bring us gifts and stuff. He never gave me anything, but he gave Corey money, and he gave my little brothers gifts. And he, one day he didn't come by, and we were worried. We weren't for sure what was going on. Maybe he didn't have any money that time or anything for us. We ended up finding his body, right? Yeah. Um, they found his body. He was burnt all over his body except his face. They, the person that burnt him, we think he, he wanted him to be recognized, mm -hmm. so that's why he didn't burn his face. We think, the cops think, that it was a drug dealer. Mm -hmm. And they burned everything. Well, um, I'm really sorry to hear that, but um, of course the Earthsea community has helped you progress from all those hardships in life. Many people have sympathy for others, but you suffer from something called hyperempathy. Why don't you tell us about that? Um, hyperempathy is something I developed while my mother was pregnant. She was on drugs while she was pregnant with me, and my my birth killed her. After that, I started feeling pain and pleasure, and from anyone. The only time I didn't feel someone's pain was when they were either dead or unconscious. They have to be close to you, dear you, right? Yes. Right. And they, um, I could feel like if someone got a cut, I could feel the burning sensation that you would get. Or if someone got shot, I'd feel the agonizing pain. I can also feel pleasure. Like someone being sexually aroused. Oh, okay. So, um, after going through all of these things in your life, how do you think you are today? Um, I've changed. I've learned a lot of different things. I've seen a lot of different things. Been through a lot of different things. So, all the things that I've seen, learned, and everything has made me become a better person. Well, I do wish you and the earthy community the best. God has changed. Seed to tree, tree to forest, rain to river, river to sea, grubs to bees, bees to swarm, from one many, from many one, forever uniting, growing, dissolving, forever changing.